Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and we are continuing our interplanetary, or a simulated interplanetary mission. Now, having picked up the crew of the heavy lander that uh, landed on the main planet, we're now going to visit one of the moons because we have plenty of fuel to spare. We only need about half of one of those large tanks to get home. So we can tour the moons, and in some cases, we'll be able to land. Actually, in all cases, we're going to be able to land people. Now, uh, you see during the orbital insertion around the moon here that I have a couple of probes still attached. That's the reason why I'm still keeping those empty tanks on board. I have a specific plan, which uh, you might have guessed by now, but uh, if not, you'll see it in the next video. So, uh, yeah, that's us coming into orbit. And there we go. We, you've seen this before. We have RCS tanks and we have RCS thrusters. And on the side, we have a couple of ladders where the astronauts hang on for dear life as we descend to the lunar surface. Now, the annoying thing is, I think we've mentioned before, you can't time accelerate with uh, astronauts on the ladder. And if you bring them off to, and time accelerate when you're too close, there's a huge possibility they end up getting bounced off at ridiculous speeds by the physics engine. So I'm just doing this and skipping out all the boring stuff. You have actually seen this before. But um, we're coming down to the surface. It, it's rather easy to fly this, as I said. We've had a, I've had a really good rate of success with these things. And there we go. And you see that it kind of lands but hovers just off the ground. And that's because of a bug that uh, basically means that the decoupler is actually still attached there. It's just invisible. So yeah, you know, we're on the surface of this alien world. This really is an alien world. It's not like the last one where uh, we were on curb and we were pretending that it was an alien world. Hey, you know, this the moon, not everyone gets to go to the moon. Um, however, these guys did take 600 plus days, well, 400 plus days of journey to get there. So uh, yeah, get off, wander around, and um, now it's time to prepare to go back. So uh Oh yeah, just jumping around in the low gravity there. That's kind of cool. That's Mechanical Jeb hooked onto the top there. That is probably the only mod I regularly use. And the reason is that it provides a lot of on-screen displays and it lets me fly things that do not have capsule attached. Um, although you can see there, it kind of moves around rather springily there. I'm wondering if that's related to uh, the disappearance of the one that was supposed to be attached to the lander. Anyway, so yeah, we time accelerate around. We see um, our spaceship coming over the horizon. There's One of those is the probe and one of those is a spacecraft because uh, I accidentally messed up the staging and detached a, a probe before I detached this one because I'm stupid. Oh, darn. I was trying to get on there. Oh, crap. Ah. <laughs> yeah, him and his big head okay um well yeah we've been here before rcs we can actually take off laterally so i'll just um get the pilots hanging on the side there and oh upside down well that's gonna be fun uh, <laughs> get the other one on come on of course the spacecraft we're trying to rendezvous with is flying overhead and we want to get on there we want to launch when it's close by so we don't have to spend too much time rendezvousing in space. You remember, uh, spacesuits have four hour oxygen supply. Now try to figure out which way we're going to take off. Um, we're going to have to hit the right translate key here. I think this, I guess if we do it the wrong one, we'll skid, skid along sideways or at worst, we'll maybe head into the ground again. Oh, there we go. Got it right first time. Now try to get this thing controllable stop it spinning um this is harder than i thought uh we just really want to i'm trying to thrust when we're facing the right direction um okay i think i got a little more control of it here it's uh, spinning a bit though now we're pointing the right way i uh, want to kind of get that going but i uh i'm having some trouble here oh come on come on okay there we go. Like, try to get rid of this roll here. And I am having some trouble because I'm pushing the roll button and it does not appear to be affecting this roll that we've picked up. And yes, I discovered after a lot of messing around 
that um, apparently the, this spacecraft, the roll buttons do not work. I'm not sure if it's because the the everything is perfectly symmetric around the axis and the the RCS jet jets are attached on the outside. But try as I might, I cannot control the roll of this thing. So I ended up having to fly this whole thing into orbit and rendezvous with uh, me being unable to stop this thing rotating at uh, a rate of once every 10 seconds or so. Um, <laughs> um, it was not the easiest thing to do, but I persevered because I found it rather hilarious. I found it an interesting challenge. So yeah, we're just trying to accelerate up to near, velo or near orbital velocity. We're going to pop up and hopefully the spacecraft will be just there. So again, just trying the, just letting this fly. So uh, now we're now we're basically floating. It'll be time to uh, switch to some time acceleration because let's face it, you don't want to watch this thing in real time. So most of this video is going to be time accelerated. You see that we're also uh, slightly to the right or to the left of their orbit, so I'm going to have to adjust the inclination somewhat. But uh, yep, there we go. We're going to get the orbits to cross and then hopefully that will be us next to the spacecraft. And uh, we're looking good for intercepting that first spacecraft, except this is the moment when I realize that that first spacecraft is in fact the space probe and not the command ship. It is. It says ITV2 debris. It's ITV2 because it was interplanetary transfer vehicle and two because it was the second one that I tried. So yeah, I put myself in a great position and then realized that I was rendezvousing with the wrong thing. So you can see it lagging a long way behind. So my plan is to, to kind of boost myself into a higher orbit so that I will hang basically at a higher altitude and move more slowly and let those guys catch up and fly underneath me. But still have to do inclination corrections. And uh, yeah, again, doing this all in real time. Now you can see where the suit, cl the, the the EVA clock is at fifty two minutes. So I'm just trying to switch switch between uh, characters there to see if I could arrest the role in some way there. Obviously not. I could cheat. Now one way I could cheat would be to have both um, pilots let go and fly a little away from this, and then time accelerate and then come back on. But that would be cheating. Hey, you know, why not try rendezvousing with a, a spacecraft where it's impossible to stop spinning? So, yeah, you, we're getting a little closer there. We've just got to linger at this altitude and watch the spacecraft catch up, fixing the inclination there. So we are now all lined up. It's just a question of whether I've guesstimated this correctly. We're 30 kilometers out from the target now, about 10 kilometers higher up than it and moving about 150 meters per second slower. So actually, you know, you can figure out there that it's gonna, they're going to pass us by in about three minutes. And yeah, it's starting to fall down there. I think this is looking good, actually. We're, we're definitely, I definitely guesstimated this pretty well. Oh, come on. So we're just going to, yeah, and they're going to pick up speed now because we want to get to the same velo or orbit orbital velocity. Yep, that's us. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I switched, mo I switched between spacecraft and something happened and my astronauts were flown off. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm within a kilometer, so I'm just going to EVA over and that's going to be easy enough. I've got a lot better at, you know, not smashing my pilots into the side. Uh, that was a... An isolated incident, which shall not be repeated again. So that's Bob back, and now this is Jeb. It's only about a kilometer to go, which is a relatively easy jaunt in this EVA suit. Just have to be careful and get back. And again, not smash into the side, because, you know, Jeb is a bit of a hothead there. So yeah, you know, we're, we're home, we're into a lunar orbit, and the next place to go after this, after we get back inside, is the, uh, the other satellite. We're going to transfer from the moon to Minmus, and we shall put an astronaut down on there. 
And in the process, I hope to reveal another trick that I have built into this formidable command vehicle. I am Scott Manley. I'll see you next time. Fly safe.